Pepper and her friends are at Playgroup. Hab Spaß, mein kleines Lama. Das werde ich bestimmt. Ich freue mich so sehr auf mein erstes Mal im Kindergarten. What is that little girl saying to her mummy? Auf Wiedersehen. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Zau. Today we have a new pupil joining us. Her name is Lottie Lama. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lottie. Please make Lottie feel welcome. Yes, yes we, we will. will. Hello, Lottie. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> Hello again. You were talking funny with your mummy. I was talking German. Can you do some more German talking? What shall I say? Say, hello, I'm Lottie. Hallo, ich bin Lottie. Wow! Do you talk German a lot? Mostly with my mama. She comes from Germany. Ooh. How do you say, I like carrots? Ich mag Karotten. <laughs> How do you say, please open the window? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Yes, that's right. Watch this. Madame Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Of course. Oh, how did you know what I was saying? Because I can speak German. Ooh. If you learn languages, you can talk to all the people of the world. Say something then. Ciao, bambini. That is hello, children, in Italian. Wow. wow. Do another one. Ciao, pagno. Niemann hao. That is hello, children, in Chinese. Do it again. Oi, meninos. That is hello, children, in Portuguese. Madam Gazelle can speak all the languages of the world. Madame Gazelle, can we learn all the languages? Of course. But let's start today with German. And I think Lottie will be a very good teacher. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. The best way to learn is to play. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> OK. I'm going to teach you German. Who is good at numbers? <laughs> Me. Look. One, two, three. In German you say eins, zwei, drei. Now it's your turn. <laughs> eins, zwei, drei. Wow. wow! How do I say, hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. <coughs> hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. <coughs> <laughs> It is home time, and the parents have come to pick up the children. Daddy, I can talk German. That's fantastic, Peppa. I know some German words. Bitte füllen Sie mein Auto mit Kartoffeln. Wow! What does that mean? It means, please fill my car with potatoes. Ah! That's why I could never get any petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Mama, Mama! Hello, Lottie. How was your first day at Playgroup? It was great. I made lots of new friends. Hello. Ich bin Peppa Pig. Wow, you can talk German. Yes, I can. Oh, meine kleine Süße. Du bist aber ein schlaues Kind. Welches ist dein Lieblingswort auf Deutsch? Uh, yes. Peppa loves talking. Everybody loves talking. Families. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I 
play guitar. We rock. That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! <laughs> Higher! <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. Yes, <laughs> everyone likes playing in the park. Who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing. How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! please. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super. And Danny Dog? My Daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now Daddy has come home to me and Mummy and he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure. Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my Mummy and my other Mummy. One Mummy is a doctor and one Mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Bobby. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. A rescue service, please. I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing. Oh, Dad, not again. OK, I'm on my way. Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <coughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <coughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa loves families. <laughs> Everyone loves families. Trampolines. Peppa and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone! <laughs> this is brilliant! Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little 
children. These are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big bounces. Pepper and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I'll have a go. Hey! <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me! Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bounce bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bounce in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. Not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, trampoline park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Pepper. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Pepper loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. Roller disco. Pepper and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Me too. <laughs> Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going. Round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Pepper and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Pepper and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. <laughs> Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, the Linda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What shall we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find the wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. <sighs> round and huh. round. This music is so babyish. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Hello, George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. Let's 
this is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's stay together. OK! <laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go the same way so you don't bump into each other. <laughs> Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Emily. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Molly. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. <laughs> Hello again, Pepper. Hello again, Daddy. <laughs> Hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> One potato, two potato, three potato, four Five potato, six potato, seven potato, five. We have to be quicker with our own music potato, next time potato, Yes, I've got it ready to play potato, six potato, seven potato, four Wow, Daddy's going backwards Five potato, six potato, How do you do that? I don't know Six potato, seven potato, more Quick, it's over Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favourite song! Skate on <laughs> down <laughs> to the disco <laughs> town. <laughs> 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 Nothing is as well as skates are flashing. Skate on Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that. Me too! And me! All together! Everyone join in! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Mummy! Hello, Mandy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! Hello, Mummy! Hello again, Peppa! <laughs> Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Mountain climbing. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bubbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants to go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! 
My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes, which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! <laughs> oh dear, George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George! Mummy's coming! Stop! You can't climb without a rope! It's against the rules! No time for rules! I have to rescue George! <laughs> Mummy's here! Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad. You're not stuck up a mountain again. Not me. It's Mummy Pig! She's on Mount Everest! What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one! I'll be right there! <laughs> Hang on, Mummy Pig! Mummy Pig is rescued! Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. I'm painting a rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful! Paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have! It's a rainbow parachute! And we are going to play games with it! Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding on to the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobby bobby bobbing, bobbing around. The boat bobs up and down. And the little boat sails away. Say bye bye to the boat. Bye bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle. One, two, three, and lift. Up, up, up. And let go. The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. It really is spinning! Wow! How does it do that? If you want the full explanation,
collection. I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop! It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Peppa loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. The tractor. Peppa and George are visiting Mrs Badger's farm. Peppa, George, can you guess what you'll see at the farm today? Dinosaur. <laughs> no, George, there won't be a dinosaur, but there will be a tractor. What's a tractor? They're like cars with big wheels, and they can drive through mud. I love tractors. It is a traffic jam. Come on, get a move on. Beeping won't make the cars go any faster, Daddy Pig. We just have to be patient. Oh, what's blocking the road? Mrs Badger is driving her tractor. Thank you for your patience. Hi there, Mrs Badger. We were just talking about tractors. Pepper and George have come to see your farm. Oh, good. Follow me. Here is the farm. Danny Dog, Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are visiting too. <laughs> we'll pick you up later. Have a nice time. Bye-bye. Hello there, my lovelies. Hello, Mrs Badger. No, before I show you the farm, I'd like you all to wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, 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 wash them nice and clean. <laughs> Very good. Now, let's have a look at my tractor. Isn't she a beauty? Yes, she's lovely. She's got big, chunky wheels. And a strong engine to pull things along. The tractor is pulling a trailer. Hop in, everybody. Let's go for a tractor ride. Hooray! <laughs> Here is a field of long grass. The field is ready to be cut. You wait here and watch. I put a cutter on the front, a baler on the back, and the tractor does all the work. The tractor is cutting and making bales. Wow! Job done. All thanks to my tractor. The trailer is joined to the tractor again. On with the tour! It's very muddy here. Will we get stuck? No! 
tractors are good at driving through mud. <laughs> and now we're going to drive along the road. Thank you for your patience. Mummy and Daddy Pig are coming to pick up Pepper and George. Oh, no. We're stuck in a traffic jam again. <laughs> like you said, Mummy Pig, we just have to be patient. Or maybe we could take a shortcut. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? I know what I'm doing. Mummy Pig is taking a shortcut. <laughs> no traffic jam for us. This is brilliant. I think we're stuck. Look, that's our car. Do you need help? No, thanks. We're fine. Um, we might be a little bit stuck. Perhaps we could use some help. Of course. Hold tight. Thank you for rescuing us, Mrs. Badger. Don't thank me. Thank my tractor. Oh, yes. Thank you, tractor. Tractors are the best. Peppa loves tractors. Everybody loves tractors. <laughs> little cars. Today, Peppa and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Peppa. Ooh. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. <laughs> I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. <laughs> Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. <laughs> We are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see, no need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit. Would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. I'm an old lady. You see, children, old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! Yeah! Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can... Go! <laughs> Wait for us! <laughs> now, children, 
this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> oh! Yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learnt at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. Great big trolley safari. Madame Gazelle is taking Peppa and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy crawly safari. Ooh. Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring... Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Will we see big, scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. <laughs> Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion, you startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh! Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah! We have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the Creepy Crawly Safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the Rocky Wilderness. Here we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh! <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. 
Is this him? No. Oh, dear. Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> Party. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh, um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday. Party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are and it's tomorrow. Oh. I see. OK. Keep calm. Don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. You did all this in one night. It's unbelievable. Happy birthday, Goldie. <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone. Happy <laughs> birthday, Goldie. <laughs> Hello, Penny. Hi, Peppa. <laughs> this is Penny Polar Bear. I never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a look. Time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak. But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Girl. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. <laughs> oh, you all look brilliant. Is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes! yes. The first clue is, I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> Here's a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. OK, last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! Oh, it's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie.
Everybody loves undersea parties. Everybody loves undersea parties. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr. Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods, and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. Oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home? But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh! It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain and it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr. Pig? Oh, oh, yes! I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No! Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr. Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> wow, it's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me! Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? No! <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No! The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. <laughs> Check. Today, Pepper is going to the doctor's for a health check. Are we all ready? Yes, I've got Teddy. And I've got the red book. What's the red book? It's your very own book, Pepper. It helps the doctor see how you are growing up. Ooh! 
Arthur has arrived at the doctor's. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. Hello, Pepper. Have you come for your health check? Yes, I have. And did you bring your red book with you? Yes, I did. <coughs> and I brought Teddy too. Very good. You're seeing Dr. Polar Bear today. Ah, that means she's ready to see you. This is Dr. Polar Bear. Hello. Who do we have here? I'm Peppa Pig. And who is this? Teddy. Has Teddy come to see what happens at a health check? Yes. Lovely. And did you bring your red book? Here it is. Excellent. Let's start by seeing how tall you are. Come and stand by the wall here, please, Peppa. <laughs> That's it. I'm a big girl now. Yes, you are. Dr Polar Bear writes how tall Peppa is in the red book. Now, hop onto these scales for me, please. Scales show how heavy you are. That's good. Now, I will listen to your heart with my stethoscope. A stethoscope makes your heart sound louder. Dr Polar Bear can hear Peppa's heart beating. Would you like to listen? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going bumpy dump, bumpy dump, bumpy dump. <laughs> and now Teddy. Is Teddy's heart going bumpy dump, bumpy dump? No, Teddy's heart doesn't do that because Teddy is a doll. Oh, I see. Now I'll check your ears with my special torch. <laughs> it tickles. That's all lovely. Now I'll check your mouth. Say... Uh, uh, wonderful! Do you want to check my nose? Thank you, Pepper. I can see that your nose is working very well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you jump up and down. I love jumping up and down. And flap your arms. Okay. <laughs> Super. Now, do you like eating fruit and vegetables? Yes, I do. What are your favourite fruit and vegetables? I like apples and oranges and bananas. Good. And do you like broccoli? Mm, I like broccoli a little bit. OK. But I love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti isn't a vegetable, Peppa. <laughs> I love spaghetti too. <laughs> is Peppa up to date with her vaccinations? Yes, she is. A vaccination stops you getting ill. Very good. Well done, Peppa. That's the end of your health check. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. Mummy Pig, are there any questions that you want to ask me? Oh, I can't think of any. I have some questions. OK. How big and heavy are you? <laughs> I am just the right size for a polar bear. And do you like eating broccoli? I like broccoli a little bit. Good. You can have a sticker too. Thank you, Peppa. Teddy eats lots of broccoli. Well, Teddy must have a sticker then. And Mummy can have a sticker because she eats broccoli too. Oh, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your red book back, all up to date. Thank you, Dr Polar Bear. Did you enjoy coming today, Peppa? Yes, it was really fun. <laughs> Peppa loves having a health check. <laughs> Everyone loves having a health check. <laughs> Weather station. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup today. Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn about the weather. Ooh. There are all kinds of weather: sun, rain, wind, snow. I like sunny weather the best. Then we can go to the beach. Oh yes, Mandy. A sunny day at the beach sounds very nice. <laughs> I like it when it's windy. Then you can fly a kite. <laughs> yes, it needs to be windy to fly a kite. Anyone else? Madame Gazelle. Yes, Penny Polar Bear? I like snow the best. Then we can go sledding. Go! Penny Polar Bear loves snow. Go! Snow is such fun. 
I like rain. And what do you like about rain, Pepper? Rain makes muddy puddles for jumping up and down in. <laughs> yes, we do need rain for puddles. Now, as the weather happens outside, today's lesson will be outside. <laughs> Children, look what I've made. What is it? It is our very own weather station. Wow! What does it do? I will show you. At the moment, the sun is shining in the sky. Mandy Mouse, please turn the arrow to point at the sun. OK. The weather station is showing it is sunny. Ooh! And this thermometer has coloured liquid that goes up and down and tells us exactly how sunny and hot it is today. Wow! So, how hot does this thermo thingy say it is? It says today is, um, nice and warm. It's getting windy. Really windy. Can I move the arrow? Of course, Benny. The weather station is showing it is windy. And to see exactly how windy it is, we have this. It is made of sticks and old plastic cups. Ooh! So, how windy does it say it is? It says it is, um, very windy. Ah! Ah! It's starting to rain! We're getting wet! Don't worry, children. I have brought the big umbrella. The big umbrella! <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Now? We can stay nice and dry and watch the rain. Madame Gazelle, can I move the arrow this time? Of course, Pepper. The weather station is showing rain. Could somebody hold the umbrella for me, please? Thank you. Now we will use this rain bottle. It is made out of an old plastic bottle cut in half. Then put back together like this. There. The rain bottle is filling up with water. Ooh. The rain has stopped. Look, we can see how much it has rained. So how much has it rained? The bottle is full. So that means it has rained, um, a lot. And lots of rain means lots of... Muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a good day for our weather station. We've had sun, wind and rain. But we didn't have snow. Oh, I think it would be too much to wish for snow as well. Oh, what's that? Snow! <laughs> it has started to snow. That is unbelievable. I'll move the arrow. The weather station is showing snow. I love sun, wind, rain and snow. Peppa <laughs> loves the weather. <laughs> Everyone loves the weather. <laughs> Christmas with Kylie Kangaroo. Peppa and her family are going to visit Kylie Kangaroo in Australia. I can't wait to see Kylie. Yes. It's going to be such a brilliant Christmas staying with Kylie's family. You did tell them we were coming, didn't you, Daddy Pig? No, I thought you did. Oh, well, it'll be a nice surprise for them. It is Christmas morning. Pepper and her family have arrived at Kylie's house. Hello, Mr Kangaroo. Oh, my goodness. You're all here again. We've come to spend Christmas with you. Um, uh, what an amazing surprise. Here are Mrs Kangaroo, Joey and Kylie. <gasps> Peppa! Happy Christmas, Kylie. Happy Christmas. Peppa and <laughs> Kylie are such good friends. Well, you've arrived at just the right time. We're off to the beach. The beach? On Christmas Day? Yes. It's always hot here at Christmas time. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> oh, look! Mr Wallaby is here. Hello, Mr Wallaby. 
Well, blow me down if it isn't our friends from far away. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Pepper. What are you doing? I'm getting the Barbie fired up and ready to cook Christmas lunch. Ooh. We're going to have corn on the cob. Hooray! Hooray! Everyone likes corn on the cob. Christmas on the beach is great. The only thing that would make it better would be snow. <laughs> but this is Australia, mate. We never have snow at Christmas. Pepper, does it snow at your Christmases? Yes. It always snows. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen real snow. What is it like? Hmm, snow is cold. And snow is fluffy. And when you walk in snow, it is grunchy. Snow sounds so nice. What else can you do with it? Make a snowman. We use sticks for the arms, stones for the eyes and mouth, and a carrot for the nose. <laughs> <laughs> we do the same on the beach, but with sand instead of snow. What? We use sand to make the body and head. Driftwood for the arms. Beach pebbles for the eyes and mouth. <laughs> and a corn cob for the nose. Wow! What could be more Christmassy than that? Ho, ho, ho! Father Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I brought presents! Thank you! Pepper has a spade. <laughs> George has a bucket. <laughs> we can make a sandcastle on Christmas Day. <laughs> Joey has a beach ball. Boing, boing! And Kylie has... Ooh! It's... it's a... what is it? It's a snow globe, Kylie. Yeah, you shake it to make it snow. <gasps> it's snowing! The snow globe is full of gently falling snow. Oh, Struth, that's a wonderful sight. Snow! I've got my own snow! And that was my last delivery this year. Now I can take my boots off and relax. Paddling in the sea on Christmas Day. Yes, what could be better? <laughs> I like paddling. <laughs> I reckon the corn cobs are ready. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm, delicious. Oh, Christmas at the beach is so good. Kylie Kangaroo loves Christmas at the beach. <laughs> Everyone loves Christmas at the beach. <laughs> 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 <laughs>